outside long enough and you get a sense at what the scorecards are going to look like. I mean, sometimes they throw you off a little bit. But we know who should be ahead on the scorecards in this fight. Yeah, and he does too, and his opponent does too, and you see it in his body language. He's starting to get a little discouraged a little bit. And of course, you see also that the guy winning right now, he's starting to behave like a guy that's winning. He's staying outside a little more, using those feet a little bit more, almost going into that kind of prevent defense you see in football. Tiger's showing you a little defensive skill there, able to move away from that punch. You're taking too many punches. Hand up. He's completely turned his offense off. You can see that he's just in an extreme defensive posture. But still, his opponent is scoring here. Look, the extreme defensive posture is a problem. But if he was moving his head with his hands up, at least there'd be misses there. When his opponent would miss, there'd be an opening to come back where even if you didn't come back, his opponent would be a little worried about sitting in there on you. He'd have to think defense. Right now, he's only thinking offense. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Nice combination there. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Tiger. Sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Tiger. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. There is hardly a doubt as to what this result will be. I know anything can happen, but all that's happened all night long is one guy punishing the other. Well, it looks like Kobe Bryant on a good night when that basket is 20 feet big. I mean, he just can't miss. Showing you some defense there with the block. Took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Here in these later rounds, you can start to see a trend, and one is developing. He cannot get away from that left hand. Now listen, when you throw your punches, it's not enough just to chuck them out there. You gotta throw them from the right distance. He's throwing them from a little too close where he's vulnerable, as you said, to that left hand. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Solid uppercut. Fires off that hook. And now they're trading blows. And he ties up on the inside. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Tiger's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And round seven comes to an end. Good job, deep breath. You're in control of it. Well, this is just a good, solid fight. Yes, he's leading on your scorecard here as we begin round number eight, but there has been some back and forth, some give and take. His opponent has found some kicks in the armor, namely that right hand over the jab. And you 
see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He made it. Wow, nice flush left hand. And yet another big shot comes in. A huge shot rains down, and he's on the floor. And he has a decision to make, a choice to make right now. One, two, three. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Solid. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Tiger's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. He throws a big wide punch and leaves himself wide open. Well, it's like leaving your window open in your house in the middle of winter. You know, a lot of cold air is going to come in. Guess what? Some hooks are coming in soon. Tigers being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good exchange. Look at that. That was a big shot that floored him. And it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. over tigers unable to get up and continue on so here we are late in the fight just coasting along and then that happens and that's exactly why it happened, because he was coasting along everybody.